The death of King James IV of Scotland was tragic enough, having died in battle with his fellow soldiers on the field of Flodden. However, what is even more disturbing is what happened to his body following the event. The king's body was removed from the battlefield and placed in a lead coffin for transport to England. Henry VIII was away fighting a war in France, so his wife Catherine of Aragon was in charge of handling his burial. Queen Catherine sent the bloody overcoat to King Henry, who displayed it as a war banner to rally morale among his army. Yet, when Henry returned to his homeland, the body still lay in his coffin. The obvious solution should have been to send it home for burial at Holyrood Abbey near his royal ancestors. Unfortunately, the political climate between Scotland and England was complex at the time, and they may have feared that sending James's corpse to his homeland would have incited further anger against England. Whatever their reasons, they chose to keep the body in London, in a woodshed at Shane Monastery. It lay there for decades, entirely unattended to, among the garden tools and rubbish. By the reign of Elizabeth I, James's head had become detached from his body. Rumor had it that the local workers made a game of tossing it around until the royal glazier decided to take it home with him as a trophy. I'm sure his wife really enjoyed that. After the Reformation, Sheen was closed and demolished along with all others under the dissolution of the monasteries, and the king's body was likely destroyed with it. The location of his head, though, continues to remain a mystery. Some have claimed that it was likely discarded into a bone pit on Wood Street. It has become an urban legend that the king's head may be buried beneath a pub aptly named the Red Herring. Where do you think the remains of King James IV are today? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this episode, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching.